Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, what's up? Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick along. Um, so this is going to be a pretty quick video. I'm just going to share with you my planner lineup for 2021. Now, let me say first and foremost that <laughs> 2020 traumatized me in terms of the world of planning. Like I've just been getting through each day the best way that I can, honestly. Um, there were some things that required a good deal of planning um, during this pandemic, um, but for the most part, it was just like, let me just get through my day um, for the fall I was for the end of the summer into fall I was really good about like having some type of master to-do list for the month and kind of just like when I felt productive and um like I had the mental capacity to get things done I would consult that to-do list um and there were some days where I was you know ticking off like 10 to 12 things on my today list on my to-do list and there were days when I was literally just okay I brushed my teeth and I ate something today, <laughs> like, other than like streaming. Um, and, you know, I gave myself as much grace as possible. But I do, um, I do think I'm ready now to start future planning and um, getting myself together. I don't even, I have been together as I have been together as best as I can be in 2020 um, with everything going on. So I don't think it's that. I think it's more, I think I'm finally mentally ready to, um, to feel a little bit like I'm moving more towards my bigger goals in life. Yeah, I don't know if you hear like the shaking of my voice, but I think I'm ready to, uh, to get into, you know, being a little bit more productive on a regular basis. I don't know if it's gonna be daily, but on a regular basis. Um, so anyway, as you see here, this is not my typical mini planner. I decided to forego um, an on-the-go planner or purse planner um, just because I'm not really going anywhere, um, but I did grab some bits and bobs from Cloth and Paper CNP. Um, this is their planner cover and then I got this um, clear inbox dashboard from them which I would put sticky notes on here just jot things quickly down um, it's kind of like a I don't know materials well vellum I think this is called I don't know um, and then I also got this uh, dashboard from CMP as well it's Florence <laughs> if you recognize that and that makes me happy because Florence is my happy place um, and then I got some dividers like, honestly and then um, I have transitioned into more of a dashboard layout and you'll see in my in my other planners um, and CMP has they have dated planners planner inserts as well but they also have these undated um, dashboard style planner inserts and I decided to just check this out just to see how I like it on a smaller version um, maybe once or twice in the first couple months of the year i'll actually use it and play around with it and see if i'm interested in getting like a full on and then like i said i have dividers in here i think this would be mostly like like a notebook type thing like i might have a section for to-do lists um i might have a section for notes um quick meetings i don't i don't know quick thoughts on the run i don't know but here's this I don't know what's gonna actually happen with this in real life um, and I'm not gonna stress about it but it's cute and I like it especially because I really love this this maybe this will be like my back to Florence back to Italy fruition notebook who knows but I really like it because at least it has that and you know when I'm not so traumatized by planning and I am moving around in the world a little bit more um, you know I can still have these and be happy with it okay so next up is my faith planner um, I went a little bit different with my faith planner I for the most part was mostly okay with my faith planning this year um, I had really good weeks at a time and then I had some like non-existent weeks in my faith planner um I have 
gotten really good at like taking time for myself and not losing my mind <laughs> during 2020. Um, and faith um, has played a big role in that. It's from Happy Planner, the Happy Planner. Um, and it's it's colorful, it's bright, it's vibrant. Um, there's little messages from God in here that are cute. Um, got a really colorful, and I'm not a big rainbow like motif type person. I don't know if that's the right word, um, but it's bright and colorful, which is nice. And then the dividers um, are just a little bit more fun. There's my faith planner. Um, next up, uh, this is kind of like a two for one, but these are both dashboard layouts. I've got the 2021, um, I forget the names of these. And then I also got the 2020, 2021, the 18 month one, um, because I started using it in the fall, which was really nice. And I really like, actually I'll start with this one. I really, really like this one um, because I love how minimal it is. I'll show you July. Um, I started using it in October, the last quarter of the year. So that's in my current plan of those months, but I love, love how minimal it is. Still annoyed by this, but that's fine. Usually my magnetic clip or bookmark can cover this up or a sticker can cover that up. But other than that, it's super, super, super minimalistic. And that makes me happy. The only thing that would make this 100% better if like these sections weren't labeled, but that's okay that's fine um i can use those sections as they are but typically my errands are like this whole section um for a week and that's fine um but i love 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 how simple this is and then i love these like these are the kind of dashboards that i look forward to like cutting up um or reusing in some type of way relabeling however um they're just beautiful Um, so what I will probably do is, again, I got this early because I wanted to use it um, to dashboard layout as soon as possible because I had originally gotten a classic um, vertical 2020 planner and just the vertical layout no longer is my jam anymore and that's okay um, especially because I ended up not doing much in 2020 um, and a dashboard layout is really nice for me because it's a smaller box I just got to focus on like the essentials um, like my my overview you know um, but then I really 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 loved this one as well um, again I forget what it's called it's also a dashboard layout it's very much like my kind of bohemian like chic hipstery vibe um so i really love it um so i had to get it and that way i can also kind of switch back and forth with um with between this one and the minimal if i feel a little bit more whimsy i can go with this you know it's still nice um don't love the shaded box but again if it's once in a while, I can switch it up week by week or month by month um, and still have fun with it and not get bored with it, most importantly. And it's just pretty. It's pretty. It's a pretty planner. Um, I'm not a big pink person, but I just love it. And plus these discs are super cool this like marble super cool so um these two dashboards can or i'm sorry these two dashboards can uh switch up with each other depending on how i'm feeling for the week or the month so there we are and last but not least 
I also picked up a um, 18 month monthly layout. I hope they don't get rid of this layout because I will be so sad. This, this, this is the layout that has been a game changer for me in terms of getting things done. When I was talking about that monthly, I had one for 2020, so I've been using my 2021. But when I talk about like my monthly master to-do list, literally I would just fill in the spaces of things to do and just tick them off. Um, whenever I just was like, okay, I'm feeling like I can do stuff today go to my list and just tick things off. This has been amazing. I hope, I, it's feeling like they might eventually get rid of this layout and I really hope they don't. Um, and if they do, I have a couple of extra blank months because I didn't use the first six months because I had the 2021. Um, I got a couple months of like, I can redate or actually those don't have dates. I can just redate the monthly if I want to and use these pages because I will be so 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 sad if they get rid of this layout but anyway this is the 2020 and 2021 monthly layout um here's your name page it's floral which is not it's like florally based which is not really my jam but I just can't give up this layout <laughs> the one that I wanted um when the happy planner had a sale was like out of stock and I was like you know what I just I need to have something that has this layout so here we are. So as you'll see in the dividers again, super florally influenced, not really my jam, but listen, I'll deal with it. And then here's your like monthly overview with your habit trackers, goals, lists, note pages, gratitude, top priorities. Um, and again, even on the top here, I don't know if you can see that very well, but you'll get like depending on the color of the month, you'll get this like florally pattern here that again, I don't love, but I love the layout. Like this has been it for me, so I can deal. are this is my planner lineup for 2021 <laughs> every time I think about 2021 I get anxious but it's okay anyway thank you so much guys um, for sticking around with me and um, I hope you stick around a little bit longer deuces